My name is Zoe Chase and I'm 21 years old. Yeah, I think that college is really just a time of self-discovery. Uh, just figuring out who I'm supposed to be. At least that's what I've been trying to do for the past three years. Uh, with respect to my faith, my vocation, the ability I have to move the upper half of my body at the speed of sound. Uh, it started around middle school, I think when I was 11. I remember I was in the kitchen making pavlova with my mom, and I beat the egg whites so fast that they cooked. I'll never forget the way that she looked at me. It's like I was a stranger or something. I think that's the hardest thing about being a mutant, is just this universal feeling of otherness. Knowing that you're just gonna be different from everyone, your friends, your peers, your own parents. Even with the other mutants on campus, it's hard because everyone has just a slightly different mutation. But that's the point of intentional mutant community, is knowing that you're not actually alone because a bunch of other people are alone with you. I guess when everyone's weird, no one is. And that's a good thing because some people here are weird af. As of 2017, mutant students comprise about 4% of the Wheaton College student body, which is slightly less than half the size of the homeschooler population. The majority of these students are a part of the campus group Mutant Kappa, which meets on Saturdays. For my project, I chose to document mutants in their own context at Wheaton to get a more thorough understanding of the community as a whole and their individual mutant experiences. I'm Jeffrey Kim. I'm 20 years old. Uh, I'm a mutant. Uh, yeah, uh, I definitely feel like around here I stick out more than I'd like to. I mean, as is when people look at me, the first thing I see is Asian. Um, and then there's my mutation, which is pretty hard to hide. I mean, who's not going to notice a guy walking 1.5 times faster than average? I just think it's hard for most people to see past those two things. Hey, I'm Jojo. I can manifest my psychological energy into a physical form. And from there, I can pretty much do whatever. Uh, Jojo's really cool. He's really the cool guy, bad boy of the apartment. So I do feel like living with him probably improves my chances with women vicariously. I, I really do like living with him. It's just after a certain point, it's like how much psychological energy does it take to do the dishes, you know? Honestly, same. And like, I'm still not even sure what his thing is. It's a manifestation of his psychological energy. Yeah, but like, how much? Is that all of it? Should I be impressed? Is it like a little or a lot? I just, I have no frame of reference for these things. I mean, if someone like Albert Einstein or Stephen Hawking or Chappie Blackman were to manifest their psychological energy, would it still be a noodly green man with shorts? Chappie Blackman can't actually do that, except it's, it's not a noodly green man in shorts. It's me. I'm Kevin. Now I'm Kev Al. And that's about as far as I can go. Did he do the Kev out joke? Yeah. He always does that. We call him Kev out too because he always flakes. He does always flake, yeah. He knows it too. It's the name he uses in our group me. We also call him Kevlar because of that thing with the mechanical pencil. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, yep. dude, that was grubby. He's a great guy though. I'm Eric. Uh, no one else in my family is a mutant, so living with three here has been a real learning curve. Honestly, it's kind of a microcosm of my time at Wheaton, because um, when I think about my childhood in Kenya, I realize that... I brought yams! <laughs>
Whoops. Wait, what happened? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Huh. I don't think I'm gonna wear Hawaiian shirts again. I die easily. What is this, like, the sixth time this year? I've still never actually seen it. I'm so mad that I wasn't here. It was pretty cool. Ugh. So when I die, uh, a new form of my consciousness comes back and inherits my body and my memory. So it's like I come back, but um, I'm sort of in a lot of ways a new person. <laughs> Still lactose intolerant, though. I like milk, and you have no right to shame me. I'm Madeline Shin. And I'm Madison Lin. I'm telepathic, so I can read minds. And I'm telekinetic, so I can move things with my mind. And an easy way to tell us apart is the fact that we're completely different people. Can you tell me a bit about- I'm Linda Forrester. I talk to plants. I'm 20 years old, so even though I'm an adult, that's still like a baby for most coniferous trees. This is Gary Johnson, the bamboo, named after Gary Johnson, the 2016 presidential nominee for the Libertarian Party and former governor of New Mexico. You talk to plants? Everything except iceberg lettuce. Why can't you talk It's about? not worth it. So what do most plants usually talk about? Nothing, but they're great listeners. The most they can do is answer yes or no. Would you mind asking Gary Johnson a question? Sure. Gary Johnson, do you have anything important to say? Yeah, okay, he says no. Linda's... Linda's... There you go. <laughs> Linda's nice in her own way. She's kind of hard to read. Yeah, we have some... Um... Oh, Linda, we've been over this. I'm hungry! Linda, you can't photosynthesize. My name is Sarah Tonin, and I'm 21. Uh, in general, I think I'd pretty say I'm pretty happy with our rooming situation. I didn't really have anyone I was planning on living with last year since I was an RA. Um, it was pretty last minute, but we have a couple of conflicts here and there, usually involving plants, but I'm able to resolve them pretty quickly. You see yourself as a mediator then? Yes and no. Um, so I have the ability to physically give happiness to others um, at the expense of my own, which is, you know, being an RA <laughs> in a nutshell. Um, I don't tell them about what I can do because they probably wouldn't let me. Madeline read my mind naturally, but I told her I didn't want anyone else to know. Don't you get emotionally drained though? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but. I don't mind feeling bad. Uh, I'm an Enneagram 4, so it's kind of my thing, and uh, it informs my poetry. Um, one thing I did learn in res life, though, is that it helps to get meals together. Hey, Sarah, what are we having? Oh, I just use up whatever's in the fridge, so it's chicken cabbage soup. Oh, uh, where do you get the cabbage? Did you cook Jill Stein? Oh my gosh, Linda, I am so sorry. That's okay, she wasn't that important to me. What's your name? My name's PJ. What's that short for? PJ Anderson. But I hope once I have friends that they'll call me PJimmy. I just transferred here from Wheaton College, Massachusetts. I applied there by mistake. Um, but the real Wheaton's been really nice though. There's definitely something to be said for mutant fellowship and school-sponsored swing dances. Back at Wheaton College, Massachusetts, I just felt displaced, alone. I didn't have any outlets. Like clubs? Like cottage cheese. Elaborate. That's kind of my thing. I have control over very few things in my life, but cottage cheese is one of them. That and Greek yogurt. I have full telekinetic control over those two things. I don't know why, but when I'm around cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, I feel peace, you know? What about skier? Skier? Yeah, skier. What is skier? It's like Greek yogurt, but it's Icelandic. Huh, never heard of it. Skier. Skier.
gear! I'll add that to the list. My name's Elijah, I'm a sophomore. Some people think of college as a time to form your identity. I think of it more as a time to realize the identity that's already there, just waiting to be expressed. Hey dude. Crab claws. Dude, that's sick! Every month we give new club members a chance to prove themselves before we go out for our Saturday night crime fighting. It's not mandatory, but it's a fun way to get to know each other. And I think we have some really promising new members here tonight. My name's Gene. Take a good look. Now meet my alter ego. Vitamin! My body produces its own water-soluble vitamins, which means there's no chance of scurvy. Ladies. Hey, I'm Kyle. I'm an English major. You can call me King Crap. My grip strength and grammar are superior to those of normal people. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Kathy. What's your mutation? I live in a delayed reality. Is that ever a difficulty for you? Like you get used reason? to it after a while. What's one of your favorite things to do? I really love running the slides for um, worship at my church. Yeah, um, I'm Janine. I turn invisible when I fall asleep. I'm Derek. I'm not a mutant, but I really appreciate the culture. Do you fight crime? Well, the club does, yeah. Not vigilante stuff, because obviously that's illegal. We mostly deal with minor offenses. Let's go fight some crime! No, I, I don't really get into the whole crime fighting thing. Why not? I think it perpetuates harmful stereotypes. Like what? Like, we're not all X-Men. <laughs> um, I mean, not all mutants have this ingrained obligation to kick people. Uh, people, look at, people look at us and they think, oh, you're a mutant. I bet your parents want you to be a superhero, you know? But what if I just want to be an English major, live in the van, you know? But that's the thing is, most of us aren't even better equipped I mean, people look at superheroes and they get these unrealistic expectations about what a mutant should be. Uh, but my best friend growing up, like, he had compound eyes, you know, like a fly. What do you do? What do you do with fly eyes? You know, for every Wolverine, there's nine average Joes at the party trick. What about Batman? Do you like Batman? No, I, I don't like Batman. Why not? Because okay, everyone thinks he's the bass pajamas. Sorry, Every, okay. everyone likes Batman a lot, right? Because he's a normal guy fighting crime, up there with Superman, the Green Lantern, but that's the thing, is he's not a normal guy, okay? He's got a billion dollars, he's got 12-pack abs, he's got a butler, he's got an IQ of, like, infinity. Um, but to top it off, he's got a tragic backstory. You know, try starting your comic book with, I grew up in a Christian home. Yeah, and like, you have any idea how hard it is to strike fear into the hearts of your enemies when your fingers glow like E.T.? Huh. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I like ranch in my spaghetti. Hmm. So this is a question I've been meaning to ask. Are you like a mutant or an alien or... Uh, I'm a mutant. Cool, that was my first guess. <laughs> um, so what can you do? Oh, uh, I'm telepathic. Telepathic? Could, so, could you bend the spoon? Telepathic. You bend the spoon?
Uh, every spring, Mutant Kappa hosts the annual Fight Night, which is the cute name we give to this, like, mutant fighting extravaganza, which is supposed to all just be fun, but some people take it really seriously. Wait, you, uh, you died last time, right? That's possible. Yeah, yeah, you, uh, you died of that plant girl, right? <laughs> I may have. <laughs> oh yeah, my bad. You know the saying, you can't bring a knife to a gunfight? Turns out there's a lot of things you can't bring a knife to. Gary Johnson said it was okay, but apparently it wasn't. But honestly, I don't feel that bad about it now. Our annual spring fight and I emulate some of our most important cultural roots and lets us celebrate some of our most significant cultural traditions. It's super fun. <coughs> I'll admit, you're a worthy opponent. Thanks, Dave. But let's see how you match my secret technique. Vitamin B12! Don't do it, Gene! Times 12. boosted my body's B12 significantly. Vitamin B12 is responsible for cellular metabolism and neural function. If he's boosted these above normal levels, who knows what he's capable of. <laughs> Still think you can keep up with me? The difference in speed is too great. She can't damage that thing. She's gonna have to get in close.
Can we just go? Yeah. I think my days as a warrior are over. I just want to live in a caravan. Sell my wares. Yeah, I'm pretty tired too. Let's go. What can I say? <sighs> Anybody else? Who are you? PJ Anderson. All right. Scare! What is this stuff? Skier. What's skier? It's like Greek yogurt, but Icelandic. Okay. What is happening? I can freely control a Greek yogurt, cottage cheese, and skier. And you've got skier all over you. The mutant student body at Wheaton College is an internally diverse community. What it means to be a mutant differs widely between people. Yet, while everyone has their own unique experiences, there is also some shared facet of identity that each person can access. We are the mutants of Wheaton College. So yeah, that's my presentation. Any questions? Yeah.
Linda. 